and the Kelp Monster Mystery. Octonauts, tonight we have a very special dinner guest. Dashi? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my little sister, Kashi. Uh, <laughs> Kashi? Oh, sorry. I'm on the very last page of a Donna Doxy mystery, the case of the curious cuckoo clock. Once you start a Donna Doxy book, it's really hard to stop. Who's Donna Doxy? The detective undaunted by danger. <laughs> She's the main character in a series of mystery books. They were my favourite growing up. Dashi gave her whole collection to me. All 100 books. I've read 54 of them. 55 when I finish this one. I love a good mystery too, me hearty. Donna Doxy's taught me all kinds of tricks for solving mysteries. Oh? Like what, matey? Well, I can tell a lot about a person by looking closely. Take you, for instance. We've only just met, but your eye patch and the tiny piece of your ear that's missing... Tell me you've been in some dangerous situations. I'd say you're reckless but brave. Hmm. And from the way your tail keeps twitching, I'd also say you're not very patient. Ha, oh. <laughs> Amazing! You've described Quasi perfectly. And one more thing. There's a trace of pudding on your paw. You must have snuck in a little dessert before your dinner. <laughs> Wow. Good job, Kashi. That was incredible. She's good. Possibly too good. It's pretty hard to get anything past my little sister, right, Kashi? Uh, except when she's reading. Right, you ready for the best sister sleepover readathon ever? I'm ready. Which one do you want to read first, Dashi? Oh, um, the case of the disappearing camera. It's one of my favourites. Our help. Her babies are missing. It was horrible. Something monstrous tossed her our lovely kelp forest home, and now my babies are gone. <laughs> we need to find those baby sea snails and fast. Octonauts to the kelp forest. Captain Barnacles, can I help too? Um. Kashi is very good at working out clues. I notice you're always wearing that uniform, which means you're always ready for the next mission. Me too, sir. All right then, Kashi. Everyone, let's do this! Dashi, what is that? Just orcas. We see them around a lot here this time of year. Uh, come on now, we have to keep up. There! That's right where my babies were. Peso, see if you can find any creatures who saw what happened. Shellington, Dashi and Kashi, you look for clues right here. Quasi, we'll search the nearby kelp for baby snails. This kelp is torn and crushed. The whole area almost looks like a giant footprint. Let's measure it. It's as big as a bus. Somebody must have seen what caused this mess. It's too huge to miss. So, you say you saw a strange creature in the kelp? Sure as my shell I did. Big fella, bumpy all over. No way. That thing was smooth, not bumpy. Um, thank you, I think. 
I didn't see the thing, but I heard it make a creaky noise. No, it was a bellowing sound. Creaky. Bellowing. I heard it going snort, snort, snort. Flappity flippers. Everyone describes the creature differently. This is going to be a hard mystery to solve. Captain, did you find my babies? Not yet, but don't worry, we'll find them. Did anyone see who took the baby sea snails? We're looking for a creature who's bumpy but also smooth and it makes a creaking, bellowing or snorting sound. Those are all different things. That doesn't help much, matey. Well, we know for sure that the creature is big. It left a huge print in the kelp. Much of the forest nearby was crushed down or torn away. The baby snails could have been carried away on a piece of torn kelp. <gasps> My babies! But where did the creature take them? Creature? I'd say we're looking for a monster. A kelp monster. <sighs> Whatever it is, we've got to find it. But be careful, everyone. There's something big and possibly dangerous out there. No sign of any creature or snails. Sure is quiet. And shadowy. With lots of places to hide. <gasps> Just a ray. They normally live here, and he's not big enough to be the creature. Right. I knew that. Look! Torn kelp! And there's more over here! And here! Hmm. Now this could lead us to... Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Why are you sneaking up on me? Why are you hiding in the kelp? I'm not hiding. I'm floating. And it was very relaxing until you swam right into me. How big is he? He's not as big as a bus. What do you mean, bus? I'm a harbour seal. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Harbour Seal. Ah, it's all right. You two are strange, but you're not the strangest thing I've bumped into tonight. What else have you bumped into? Well, uh, like I said, it was strange. It was big. It nearly knocked me over when it scraped itself along the sea floor, left behind a big hole. A hole? Yeah, you can see it for yourself on the other side of this kelp. Thanks. Let's go. Now that is unusual. And it might be a clue. Dashy, look. Shells. But not snail shells. Barnacle shells. These shells belong to little creatures called barnacles that are usually attached to rocks or even other creatures. And look. They lead in there. It's definitely a clue. As Donna Doxy says, we're hot on the trail. The trail just ends. Oh, I was so sure we were onto something. <coughs> Snort! <coughs> Bellow. <coughs> Creak! <gasps> huh? Nothing to see here. Just a big clump of kelp. Is that a whale? Yes, a grey whale. You can tell because he has bumps on his back instead of a dorsal fin. So he's bumpy, but also smooth. Just like the crab and urchin said. And he's making all the noises they mentioned too. <laughs> Mystery solved. The kelp monster that took the baby snails was you, a grey whale. Uh, oh, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kelp. Kelp doesn't talk. Oh, OK, maybe not. But please don't give away my disguise. I'm hiding from a pod of orca whales. They want to eat me. Where'd that grey whale go? Let's look over here. Oh. We won't give you away. Promise. But we'd like to check you for baby snails. They may have gotten caught up in your kelp disguise. Oh, uh, go ahead then. Sorry about that. I didn't know I had any creatures on my head. Oh, let's get you back to your mum. Oh, my precious little babies. I was so worried. How did you find them? By following the clues. First, we discovered a spiked up part of the seafloor. Then, we tracked a trail of barnacle shells to the end, where we heard a spooky noise. That's when we found the grey whale accidentally carrying the snails. Now it all makes sense. 
Grey whale snouts are covered with barnacles. He must have left the trail of shells by scraping his mouth along the sea floor to eat. But where is the whale? Hiding. Really? Grey whales usually travel to warmer water this time of year. There's a pod of orcas after him, and they'd like to eat him. Oh. Pony me! <laughs> this kelp forest is a safe place for me to hide. I think we can help you. Our whale tracker shows that the orcas are gone. Oh, what a relief. Um, before I go, can I ask one last favour? There's a piece of kelp stuck in my blowhole. Would you mind? <gasps> this will make the perfect souvenir for our case. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, how about finishing up our Donna Doxy readathon? I've got a better idea. Instead of reading a mystery, let's write one. It's about two sisters who team up to solve cases. The little sister is the brains of the team. <laughs> <laughs>